Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a few different ways you can add plugins to a track using the SWS extensions. Uh, there are three different ways that I'll show you today. So, as I mentioned, going to be using the SWS SNM extension. It's a free add-on for Reaper. Get it from sws-extension.org. There are a million things you could do with this. I consider it essential. I'm going to start off with the console, and this is something I have shown in another video before, and there'll be a link in the description to that. But essentially, you press C, and it opens up reconsole, and it's just this little window. You can enter a text command, and because we're focusing on plugins, we're going to press X for effects. Then we're going to type in the plugin name, so Rhea Comp. And now the plugin is on the track, right there. Let's do another one. X, Rhea, EQ. And there we go. And let's do it with a third party plugin. So X, Valhalla, Shimmer. All one word. And if we want to close this window right away, we can press Command Enter. And that will close the window after executing that command. So that's a pretty simple way of doing it, but it does require some typing. You've got to make sure that that plugin name is spelled correctly. So that's the first way. It's pretty simple, but you do need to remember the exact plugin name or won't find it. But it is pretty helpful, and that will apply to multiple tracks. So if I select two out of four tracks, press my command to go to the reconsole, type in X recomp, and it's going to add the effects on channel on tracks two and three. And you can see that right there. The next way is to use the resources. So we're going to open up resources and we're going to effects chains. Uh, so this function is just a kind of a library of effects and uh, track templates and projects and things like that that you can recall from actions. So we're going to load in all of the uh, effects chains that I have saved on the system so far. That's 53 of them. And that's the same as going in here, add effects chain. And then these are all my the different ones that I have saved already. So they're going to be in here. So I'm going to run this action, SWS SNM resources, paste effects chain to select a track slot one. So slot one corresponds to this one here. And there we go, the EQ and the compression settings that I had saved for that effects chain. Uh, we can use paste replace and do slot four. And now what we have is a different effect and EQ. We can also use this window alone. And there's an option down here at the bottom for double click. Paste to select the tracks, paste as input effects, paste replace. So for example, I can take this track, track three, double click on the effects chain for drum bus one, and there we go. That effects has been added there. Trap bass drum, like that. That's another quick way of doing this. If you wanted to have these effects chains on uh, toolbars, that's pretty easy. Open up another toolbar. So let's say a toolbar toolbar four, and let's float this, position floating. We'll edit this. You can do this one, paste slot one, and that's there, save. And now I can click this, click my button, and now I have a button that launches that effects chain. The third way we're going to do this is through the SWS cycle actions. We'll go up to extensions menu, cycle action editor, and we're going to use this to call a console command. So right click, add cycle action. So we're going to call this custom, custom add helix. We're going to add, add in the uh, line six helix plugin. Going to right click here, add statement, console, x, helix. Um, again, that's x plus the name of the plugin. 
It might not work with every plugin. I did have some that didn't work while recording this video, um, but most of the, uh, the built-in plugins are going to work. Uh, there's a bit of trial and error here. You might have better luck using the resources for specific effects chains that only contain one plugin. I'm showing you three different ways to do this so that you can find the best way for you, uh, whether you put it onto a keyboard shortcut or mouse modifier or toolbar or MIDI controller or something like that. I want you to know multiple options so that you can find the best workflow. Anyway, so we got console X Helix. And one more thing we need here is to float the plugin. So uh, as you saw earlier in the video, when you run that console command, it's not going to show you the effects chain. You have to click another button to pop it up. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to do uh, SWS float uh, selected. And we're going to look for float selected effects for selected tracks. Just select it. We're going to right click and add selected action. And now we've got that float effects action in there. I'm going to hit apply. That's going to add this action to the action list. And if we just look in the action list for Helix, custom add Helix. All right, so we select the track, run this, take a second. And there's our plugin pops up ready to rock. So there you go, guys, three different ways you can add effects to uh, selected tracks quicker without browsing the effects list. Once you get this set up, it's very, very quick. If you have custom keyboard shortcuts or uh, some sort of pad controller that can launch these actions, apply the effects to these selected tracks, that would be a really quick way of doing this. You can also set up a custom toolbar, so many options. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you can put this to good use. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.